एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्मार्टर ईच डे विद प्रियंका सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट एस स्टार्ट द प्रोजेक्ट एंड टू क्रिएट दैट प्रोजेक्ट दैट यू हैव सीन जस्ट नाउ द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू हैव टू डिलीट द ओल्ड स्प्राइट दैट इज स्प्राइट वन नेक्स्ट वील गोइंग टू एड चूज अ स्प्राइट ऑप्शन एंड हेयर वील गोइंग टू सर्च फॉर हर पर okay so uh, so we'll get the harper here so when you click on harper for harper also you will get uh, the different type of costumes we'll go to the costumes option you will see the set of three costumes which are available so i'll go to harper a i'll go back to code now I'll suggest you to choose plain background. So suppose I'm going to select blue sky two. Okay, so this is how I set. So for writing dress me up, I'll go to costumes, and here I'm going to choose. Uh, sorry, you have to select your backdrop first, and then take T, and at the top just click here and uh, write. Dress me up. The name of the game. Okay. Select it. I'm going to write in red color. You can customize as per your own choice. So I change it into red color. I'm going to make it big. And at the right side here in the preview section, you will see how your uh, dress me up uh, text. look like okay this is how it will look like and this is how we can set the position so i have set the position of dress me up now again i'll go to uh, go back to code then in choose a sprite section i'm going to select the tab that is fashion in the fashion section you will get the option to select the shirt i'm going to position the shirt here then i'm going to choose again the next sprite in the fashion section that is i can go for shorts i'm going to select the shorts here next again same method i'll go to fashion and then i'm going to choose the scarf for my sprite next i'm going to choose the shoes See, there are so many options in the fashion section, so you can choose any uh, any number of sprite from there. The codes will also will remain same. Once I'll start the coding, you will understand it easily how we can code for multiple sprites uh, from the fashion uh, section that you are select. You, you, you can see here. Hence, we completed the designing part. and one very important thing if you are new into my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i keep on posting these type of easy and very very simple games for you children that you can use in your school projects and uh, and just you can learn the basics of scratch programming using these uh, small games so uh, this is how we completed the designing part now let us move on to the coding part so the very first thing that you have to do is you have to choose the first sprite that is the shirt i have selected now i'll go to the events block and from there i am going to choose when flag clicked option okay this option i am going to select and then i'll go to motion and here i have to select go to x y position i want my sprite to get reset when i click on flag event okay so the the x y position can be different in your project it may vary but uh, um, you have to take the same x y position up your you set up your uh, this shirt uh, sprite okay so x y uh, coordinates can be different in your project so don't worry about that next i'll go to events and there i'm going to choose when sp this sprite clicked right what event i want when i click on this sprite it will go to harper and then harper will wear the shirt so for that 
I want the next position of the shirt to be here. When I click on shirt, we are going to set the position of the shirt. We want the shirt to be here. When we click on this shirt, it should appear here. So again, we'll go to motion and then we'll going to to choose the glide. Okay. Again, here also same. The x y coordinates can be different for your project, so don't worry about the x y numbers. Then we'll going to choose the next sprite that is short. Now again, we'll follow the same steps. We'll go to the when flag click event. Go to motion, take x y position because when we uh, when we click on flag, we, I want the shot to go back to its uh, original position. So I'm going to choose this. Now next, I'm going to choose when this sprite clicked. Again, go to motion and here don't forget to put set the position of your shots. So here I want my shot shots when I click on this. So now you can choose the glide option. Here also x y can be different for your project. Next, we are going to choose the scarf. Scarf also for scarf also we are going to follow the same steps. Choose the when flag click event. Go to motion. Take x y position. Again, take another event that is when this sprite is clicked. So when this sprite is clicked, I want the scarf to appear here. Like right? it should appear here. So this much I have set. Now next go to motion. Take the glide option. Okay. Now the fourth and the last sprite that is the shoes. For this also I am going to take the flag event. Go to motion. Take x y position. Now go to events. Take another event when this sprite clicked. Now helper will going to wear the shoes. This is how I want when I click on shoes. It should appear here. So set the position of the shoes. Then take glide and then join them. So I want one more thing. I want when we click on flag a sound should play. Okay. So do one thing. Click on helper. Go to events. Take the flag. Click on forever block and go to motion and you can take play sound this one. So I added here classical piano. If you don't know how to add the music section you can go to sounds and here you have an icon of choose a sound. From here you can choose your requirement as per your requirement you, you can choose the sound. So as we have set the music. Now it's time to play the projects. So let us make it full screen. And uh, when I click on flag, you will observe all the uh, fashion sprites will come back to their position and a sound will play. Okay. So see, this is how the sound is playing. When we click on flag and everything is reset now. When I click on shirt, see, Harper is wearing the shirt. I'll click on shorts. Harper is wearing the shorts, now scarf and now shoes. So here is uh, uh, here is my project is ready. So if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel because I keep on posting these type of short games and easy games for you. So keep supporting, keep subscribing and thank you for watching.